my YouTube channel, Athletic Golf. I'd like to uh, start this series here, teaching how to play golf, thinking of it in athletic terms. A uh, quick little story about what brought me to this point. Uh, whenever I was young, my father passed away, and I moved down to live with my grandmother. And I was out riding bicycles with a friend of mine, and I saw a guy playing tennis down at the local tennis court. And uh, later that night, I asked him, I said, hey, who's that guy down at the tennis court? And he said, ah, it's the guy that owns the car lot downtown. I said, oh, I think I'll go down and see him tomorrow, see if he'll teach me to play. So I did. I went down and I talked to him, and he says, well, do you really want to learn? I said, well, of course, I wouldn't have asked otherwise. He says, all right, I'll tell you what. Here's what I want you to do. If you want to really show me that you want to learn, do this. So all he did is he says, all right, let's find an athletic stand for you. And he shows me what I'm doing here, getting into an athletic position. He says, all right, now all I want you to do is just turn. Boom. Come back to that position. He says, all right, go home and do that. Come and see me tomorrow. So I did that. I went home for a couple hours that night. And all I did was just practice. Boom. And then whenever I went back the next day, showed him what I uh, had accomplished. He's like, all right, that looks pretty good. Now let's try the forehand. So he shows me what it looks like to do the forehand. Position the body, low to high, come back and see me tomorrow. So that's exactly what I did. For two hours that night, I went home over and over and over again to the same thing. So the next day, I went back and showed him, and he's very pleased with the result. So then he shows me the next day, he shows me the backhand volley, the next day, the forehand volley, everything just doing the same thing over and over again. And then the last day was the overhead, boom. And so then whenever we had that down, he says, man, that looks great. Now we go to the tennis court, shows me how to hold the racket. Now all I've got to do now is have him feed me balls, make a good pass, get the timing and the tempo down, boom, boom. So moral of the story is you go from being no golf, no tennis player to being a really good tennis player in a very short time. And that stuck with me for whenever I made the transition to golf because I hadn't played golf until I was 23. So whenever I was 23, I decided to take up golf. And so I used the same lessons learned learning tennis and translated it to golf. So that's how we're going to do this here for you. We're going to show you how to break it down. We're going to start from the bottom because that's the most important thing is to have a core and work our way up. So the first thing we're going to do is the same thing in the tennis is we're going to find an athletic position because I believe very firmly that golf is an athletic event. So we're going to find an athletic position that is not too far over, not too tall because then you don't have any ability to make any kind of a turn without falling over. So we're going to find that athletic position. Knees are going to be bent. You're going to have that, that body position is going to be in a good position. So whenever you make a turn away from the ball, you can load into that back leg. This is the same athletic position you're going to have for most any other athletic event there is. If I was playing baseball and needed to move over to get a grounder, move back to be able to take a pop fly, if I'm getting ready to... Uh, to defend in basketball, this is my position right here. Lateral movement, up and back, it's the same thing. So we're gonna do that same thing for golf. We're gonna get this athletic position. Once we have that found, and that comfortable position that allows us to do that, find it before you do anything else. Feel comfortable. This says that I can move. Watch this body right here. I can move any position that I want to once I found that athletic position. My feet are not going to be too far apart because when I go to make a turn, I'm going to be blocked out with the hips here. And if they're too narrow, exact opposite. Now I'm making too big of a turn. So now we found that athletic position. Let's look at making the turn away from the ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on turning away from the ball and putting, loading that weight right into that right instep right there. So we're going to turn away. Boom. We're going to go from left hand straight right here to right hand straight. 
That's all we're going to be working on right now. Boom, left arm straight to right arm straight. That's it. Left arm straight. See how I'm loading into there? That allows me to come down. Boom, drive through the ball. Take a look from the side here. Once I find that athletic position, I'm going to be able to make a turn away from the ball. Watch my hands here. If I was imagining a plane, that plane is going to be here to here. I'm going to turn away, and I'm going to drive down and through. My hands are going to end up in the same position both sides. If I'm here, I'm turned away, drive back and down and through, same position here to here. All right, so you see that? Athletic position. I can move, do whatever. I've, I've found that position that allows me to make that turn away, down and through. And again, you can see my head against that building in the background. As I turn away, I don't want to have the head moving. I don't want it moving this way either. I want to boom, down and through, down and through, down and through. Look at that. Boom. So that's going to be the first in the series because I just want you to get that athletic position. I want you to feel what it turn, feels like to make that turn away. Get that power loaded into that right leg on that instep. Left arm straight. Get that plane. Drive down and through. And that's all we're going to do. So I'll practice that. Wait for the next video. I wish you luck and hope this uh, helps you. And have a lovely night from the beautiful island of Cebu.